and welcome to Zero to Hero episode 9. Uh, quite a few things to talk about before we get cracking with today's uh, session. Um, so you'll see that these things are recorded quite a way in advance of release. Um, today is Friday and a new beginning Bronze 9 has just started. Um, I'm not going to take part in that with this account. Um, it's a great way to get a fully unlocked character for under 400 gems and we have more than enough gems to do that. Um, but I wanted this character to get to level 70 and unlock some trolls and do some things with uh, sort of not everything unlocked first and I wanted sort of over a thousand gems before I went into AMB. Um, there probably on the channel somewhere is a separate AMB Bronze 9 series that I'm playing on my main account so trying to do two AMBs at the same time on two different accounts is going to take up too much time so I won't be playing that uh, on the season front these are the things that I'm most interested in now the season bank um, looks like we're going to hit the 1000 gems and the million gold quite easily we've got 12 days left to do that so um, now that we've got daily quests and we should be unlocking another one today that will be at least 60 gems per day so as long as I log in do the dailies that's going to hit the thousand and gold will not be a problem um, additionally uh, it was pointed out to me by Heike Gross who sorry if I've butchered your name plays in game as Kinu um, I'll put a link to their YouTube channel down in the description below um, they pointed out that I used when I was using fireball early on that isn't a particularly good skill uh, and they're quite right uh, arcane bolts is vastly superior to fireball um, here at level 5 it does 205% damage it is doing this small AOE effect around it arcane bolts is firing out four bolts so it's still going to hit multiple targets each one of them doing 125 percent weapon damage so it's doing 500 percent overall which is double fireball so i was in my usual level up mode and i went and just applied fireball and completely forgot that years ago when i was first starting out arcane bolts is brilliant um, I'm actually going to equip that instead of uh, Frostbolt for now. Frostbolt's 520% so it is slightly stronger but that's single target damage and this is going to hit multiple targets so we'll play around with that for now. Um, and they also pointed out I have plenty of toughness so I'm dropping Marcus for now. We'll take Robin, uh, it'd be nice to get Robin leveled up anyway. Um, when Robin hits level 20, they're only level 1 at the moment having not been used, uh, they're going to give an attack speed buff to me, so that's going to help as well. So we'll definitely be seeing how we go with Robin. I should have plenty of survivability as still. Um, I think the toughness without Marcus, 46,000, and with Marcus it's 51,000. So not a lot of difference between the two, so definitely worth taking Robin and getting her levelled up. Um, so let's see, what have we got? Large treasure, we might as well take that. Um, I'm going to save opening that uh, until we've levelled up a little bit more just in case something useful comes out. I've expanded this stash space as well. Um, also, down the bottom here, we've got a Glacis Tempesta, so I probably won't get around to using this. Um, you would have seen in an earlier video that I salvaged an entire set of uh, what's essentially adventurer's armor. It was rare quality. Um, and because I did them all at the same time, 
and the way that salvaging and certain rounding goes on in the background it increases your chances of uh, certain materials especially if you're doing that with set items it increases your chances of the number of marker titans you're going to get out so out of those six blue items i've got four marker titans which is quite a nice yield so I've expanded the stash to hold onto these. I want to try and get 14 set or named through unique items. So they're easily identifiable. Um, for weapons, here we can see under it we can see here it's got a set 0 of 2. Um, on my main character we can see this is a named item void blade underneath the stats it tells us we've got some special uh, abilities going on and again this tome there's a special ability tome of the void so that's another named item um, so you can tell them either because it will say it's a set item and the number of items in that set that you've got or it will have some sort of description beneath the stats on the special additional abilities so by all means save those up and do a big salvage all at the same time because it'll increase your chances of getting uh, rarer materials that you're going to need so that's quite a bit of waffling to start today um, let's turn in the quest that finished last time out Get, uh, oh, 20 gems for that quest as well that's a nice one um, we'll pick up these quests I'm not going to do them just this minute uh, we'll get Dady's complete first so the reward for that quest that we just picked up there is a uh, unique item as well this is basically the same as a carnival cape so we can see we've got a bonus effect going on that's written beneath the stats so it, I'll probably end up using this for a bit anyway um, but then we'll keep hold of it and put it in with the other set items for salvage um, so we've got the Rillian Brothers and Lost Souls so Lost Souls is good this happens on any map um, there's just going to be little orbs drop from undead creatures so we'll complete some of that if not all of it at the same time as doing Ruby's quest uh, let's just see I did change that yes so let's go and run that daily quest to start with We shall see how Arcane Bolts behaves. That's quite nice. I'm still going to put out the... I forgot I've got the um, Vial of Wind Spirit. I'm actually going to take that off when we do the next story because I'm acutely aware that you might not necessarily be starting out uh, with a season in play and it's um, you might not be able to get access to something as strong as that that early so I want to play the temple and do the album fight at the end without that vial of wind spirit yeah this is how I remember it <laughs> very useful ability throwing out masses of orbs and wiping out everything in front of us that's what we've been missing Robin is might even hit level 20 before we finish this level which would be nice so Teddy doesn't give us another mighty basher 
we don't get the things that we got originally in story when we rerun them so unfortunately we don't get to collect useless weapons from him Okay, so these are what the uh, lost souls look like. They'll just accumulate in stash or in, yeah, in your um, inventory until you've collected enough to turn the quest in. Um, so I don't need to worry. That is definitely going to finish before we complete this next level what I'm going to do is literally nerf myself and just take that off just for this temple run so many many oh it's level 60 as well this is going to be interesting there was something else I wanted to do but we will wait until the very end of the level with Elben many 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 years ago before quests were implemented um, and before world 4 came along this used to be the end of story uh, the level cap used to be at level 60 as well but it goes on we get up to 70 so this would have been the climax of the game back in the day Those arcane bolts are beautiful. So we need to go around these as Lost Souls is ready to turn in. Um, those clear up the muck on the floor quest needs to happen before you fight Elben, otherwise you can't turn the quest in you have to rerun the the whole level so what I will do is my usual route for this which isn't necessarily the most efficient oh it did say hard what it meant was don't stand in front of elites and let them punch you in the face because that's a stupid move um, let's get the experience from these I'd normally run around and loop around the top but we can just run up here and get the same group they're just sitting here So there's two more in the next section down on this map which to me is basically three parts we have this top section then there's one linking area there's another section we can go left or right and they both link up again for a single section down to here where we will be fighting Elben um, so we've cleaned out the oil slick whatever it was there there there's another one here and another one here that we need to do if we want to be able to turn in the quest in a single run through so that's what we shall do I'm very used to being able to shatter everything through this level which obviously isn't going to happen with this character so there's one of those I'll 
take these just for the experience. There's more down here. Where is that coming from? How did we miss that one? My army of my own skeletons now. So I could go down here and prepare for the album fight, but we want to finish the ritual residue quest first. Let's get these all lined up. Poor Robin's dying. Being such a low level character. Up against level 60 enemies. So that's those done, so we can definitely turn that quest in. So what I'm going to do first is clear this. We've got a, an inner square and an outer square here. I'm going to clear out all the enemies in the corners to start with. So we actually have room to do things against Elben's attacks. I know we've seen him once already in Trials, but we can talk about his attacks as gain here. Fifty-eight. So I think he's got a few healers sitting with him. Um, hopefully, I'm going to vortex and beam them. That should hopefully deal with the healers. So he's going to start off closing us down, and then in rapid succession, he'll do a life drain attack. Um, so the life drain, there'll be a sort of red mist thing between Elben and myself. Um, after I think it's one and a half seconds he starts draining your life rapidly and healing himself um, and you need to get further and further away from him to break that chain um, when you first start the fight he'll do that and immediately go into his next special attack which is devastate which is a leap in the air so a big red circle will appear around me um, and I need to get out of that circle very quickly on account of its instant death and then immediately after that he's going to line up his assassinate attack so that's going to draw a arrow on the floor aimed right towards me um, wherever I move it's going to track around um, and what he does is charges along that line and he sets a damage over time debuff on both himself and me. Um, if you've got really high toughness you can eat a few of those before it becomes a massive problem. Um, so warriors have a much better time certainly when they've got a lot of toughness behind them and a lot of life on hit. Um, they can have a better time against Elben than say the range characters with weak abilities. Um, something else that I'm going to do just before we go in, I'm going to replace Blizzard with Blink just in case I haven't got much movement speed apart from on the boots and pants. Um, that's going to help put some range in or escape from his bleeds. Um, where are we? Let's wait for that to fully cool down. Just trying to think, make sure I don't press the wrong button when we start the fight. So I'm going to open up with a 
vortex and a frost beam. Which has helped. So that blink gets me out of the range of that attack. Now he wants to do his uh, damage over time. Got a healing orb there which helps. So the range of that is relatively short, that charge that he does. His next special is Drain Life. Um, let's get some additional mirrors in. Ah. They don't last particularly long at level one. So he charges about twice the length of that arrow. Oop, wrong button. <laughs> Maybe I don't need blink. I might change. Oh, actually, I'm not sure I can change skills in combat. We shall see. At least we've been through the uh, sort of attacks that he does. Oh, I don't have Eileen anymore, so I can't vortex him. This is why it's nice to fight him outside that area. Let's see if we can change abilities up. Yes. Okay, that blink isn't really needed, so let's put some more damage out instead. If we've got any more health orbs lying around, I think the answer is no. So I'm going to try and run away for a bit and let's see if there's any up here. There's one. <laughs> this is daft. But it's fun. There's seriously no others. <laughs> Actually, I can use a potion for now. Not the fastest fight in the world, but we are underpowered and underleveled for this, so don't want to run down a dead end. Ooh. Actually, I can 
put some range in and just attack the air because life on hit is actually life on attack. <laughs> so if I stand here and do this I can push my life up quicker. I completely forgot about that. Probably getting ourselves in a bad spot here. Let's uh, get our life up some. thinking maybe I should have used that talisman <laughs> vial of wind spirit or I should have kept it in my inventory so at least we could speed this up having demonstrated the fight <laughs> This is even worse than the Xenodon giant fight that we had. Gets back to a good amount of health. Ooh. charge me now <laughs> we're nearly there <laughs> you only ticked up a little bit of health that time that's good to health orb. Thank you. <laughs> well, it was fun. Probably not for you watching. <laughs> Probably thinking attack him, attack him. Um, but yeah, we got there. I did nerf myself beforehand. But that will now unlock our third daily quest. And now we need to pop back in in a moment. So first things, let's re-equip this. I just wanted to do it without that so that you wouldn't accuse me of cheating with stuff that you won't necessarily have at that stage of the game um, it's a loss of movement speed but it's nice um, I think what I'll do first is turn in the dailies and the other quests if, actually if I what did I have in the inventory some gemstones we'll put those away I think if I collect these or turn that in is that now going to instantly unlock the daily 
if so we can do that to finish today's video Flora of Nurgle, that's better. We can take that one. That's not going to take forever. Plus we've got the Wind Spirit. Um, let's take a look at this cape over this one. Experience an extra gold. Okay, we can slow down a bit with that. I'm not going to take those. Those boots, as much as I like them, I want movement speed. Um, so I'm going to ignore those and everything else is going to get salvaged. So we'll get rid of those, we'll do the daily, and I didn't get anywhere near as much done today as I thought I would. I didn't expect the album fight to be quite as long as that, so sorry. Um, obviously I think I need... It's I'm not that far behind in levels. Shouldn't be saying hard. What was the quest flora of Nurgle? That's World 3, that's why. run through, grab the flowers, get to the end, not worry about looking for anything on the way. That was all done when we did the original story. Turn it in, we're getting an extra gemstone for rerunning the map. That was a long range AoE from the Wind Spirit. So I shall turn this in, probably record episode 10 immediately afterwards. And then I think I need to go and start AMB Bronze 9 on my main. <laughs> and start wondering where I'm going to find the time to do everything. Um, so, we're up to level 58. We've just had the slowest ever Elben fight. <laughs> letting him chase me all over the map. Um, and we've unlocked our third daily quest. And next time out, we shall go on to World 4. Um, I'm not going to let it worry me that it says hard because we've got our Vial of Wind Spirit doing nice things for us now. So as long as I stay alive, then uh, things should die fairly easily. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.